President Assisi follows up on plans to promote the Giza Zoo. Egypt regrets the Israeli official incursion into Al-Aqsa Mosque. And Russia says dozens of its troops killed in attack in eastern Ukraine. President Abdel Fattah Sisi followed up on Tuesday on a development plan to promote the Giza Zoo and gave directives to develop a zoo in line with its global view and enhance its historical and archaeological value as one of the finest zoos in the world. This comes within the framework of the Giza Zoo's introduction on the basis of international environmental standards and be the inspiration to welcome visiting citizens from different parts of the country. President Sisi gave instructions uh, during his meeting with the Prime Minister, Mustafa Madbouli, the Minister of Finance, Mohamed Maid, the Minister of Agriculture and Land Reclamation, Al Sayyid Al Sayyid Al Qusayr, and the Minister of State for Military Production, Mohamed Salah Eddin. Presidential spokesman, Bassem Radi, said that President Sisi directed to upgrade the zoo's efficiency and preserve its archaeological and historical buildings as well as expand the green and entertainment areas, as well as commercial regions inside the zoo. In addition, there are plans to link the Giza Zoo with Al-Urman Gardens. The president called on the private sector to participate in implementing the development plan of the zoo, as well as the management and operation work of the Giza Zoo. Also on Tuesday, President Sisi held another meeting with the Prime Minister, Mustafa Madbouli, the Minister of Finance, Mohamed Maid, and the Financial Policies Advisor, Ahmed Kujak, and the Deputy Minister of Finance at the Public Treasury, Dr. Iheb Reish. Presidential spokesman Bassam Radi said the meeting addressed the financial performance indicators, the activity of the customs and tax sector at the Ministry of Finance, the financial performance for the first half of the fiscal year of 2022-2023 was reviewed during the meeting, which affirmed the state's ability to cope with international economic variables, absorb shocks, maintain a safe track of the general budget, provide the state's needs and increase allocations for government investments and provisions of all essential commodities and necessities. The meeting also tackled the implementation of the National Economic Reform Program, which is supported by the IMF. This comes as the government seeks to achieve all the targeted reforms, notably the recent approval of the protection of competition and prevention of practi monopoly practices and the ratification of the state property policy document which is aimed at maximizing the role played by the private sector in the economic zone. The meeting also discussed the Finance Ministry's ongoing projects, specifically on tax and customs sector, in addition to achievements of tax disputes, termination committees, tax appeal committees, with the head of the directing to settle all tax files. The President also directed to expedite the export of all goods delivered at ports, as well as the completion of all good procedures related to the governance of the customs clearance system.